Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to do a short video on a polar alignment tool uh, by Optron, which is the iPolar. It's been around a long time, but I've only recently bought one. Uh, but I find it such an excellent tool for polar alignment. I wanted to share it with you. My name's Glenn, and you're watching Astro Bloke. So the iOptron iPolar, there are other makes out there, you've got the Pole Master by QHY, uh, but a friend of mine, uh, Simon of Simon's Astro, I was doing uh, an imaging session with him in Suffolk not so long ago, and he's got a few of these fitted to his rigs, and I watched him do his pole alignment, and it was so quick and easy, I thought, I've got to have a go at one of these, and now I've bought one, I think they're really worthwhile. They make life a lot easier. So when you buy the camera, they come in kits with different mounts, uh, sort of mountings for different mounts. So you can fit them in. So you've got a mount here for the EQ6, a couple of little Allen key screws just to lock everything in, and you're there. Once it's in the mount, there's a very quick process to align the tool. So it will basically, you take a dark frame, so you need something like a cap to go on top, you take a dark frame, then what it will do is it will take an image of the stars and it will do a, a plate solve. After that you rotate the mount through a minimum of 45 degrees and it will plate solve again and uh, you also include in that your location, your latitude and longitude. Once you've done that the iPolar is set up on your mount and as long as you don't remove it, you don't need to go through that process again. When you start up iPolar, it'll ask you for a dark frame. You can take a fresh one if you want or you can just reload the last one that was used, which is what I do. The beauty of this is you do not need to have to see Polaris to be able to polar align. Because it only needs a number of stars to be able to plate solve, you could actually be pointing slightly away and it will use those stars and it will know which way for you to move everything. So it's a really excellent tool. It's nice and quick and I've found it to be extremely accurate. So let's show you it in use. Uh, so we need some uh, dark skies, don't we? So the iPolar is fitted to the mount take the cap off and the first thing we're going to do is show you how to set the eye polar up and then we can do our polar alignment nice and quickly every night we want to use it okay so I'm using uh, Google remote desktop and if I call up the eye polar program okay so we're there and we can now press connect And it's initialized now when we first get the iPolar what I'm actually gonna do is you put in your site location and then you can input the center of the camera so you would do that and it asks you to take a dark frame with the cap on and it sets itself up onto your mount. Now once you're set and you've got your dark frame in, it will then start uh, doing its exposure and you can set that so that you're getting a good number of stars and what it does is it plate soles. Now this is where we want the centre of the mount aiming and at the moment it's up here. So we know it needs to come down and left and basically using the adjustments on the mount. So we'll start with the down. And as it plate solves, it will replace this circle. 
So if you find that it's not got enough stars, it will warn you of how many stars it's got. You can change the exposure time. So we're quite, we're quite a fair way off of um, polar alignment here. Um, I've not been putting my mount in the same position, so that's most probably why. I do want to get a bit more of a permanent. I'm actually thinking of putting another pier out here, but <clears throat> we shall see. So we're just uh, bringing the mount down a bit. And we're getting close to the height, so now I'm going to do the adjustment. I'm just going to turn it one way, see whether I'm going the correct way. Which is left, which it is. And what you'll see is as we get close, the actual target will change size and get really big for fine adjustment. So we've got to come down a little bit more. And of all the things I've used for polar alignment, this is without doubt the best. So just little adjustments now, nothing big needed. And you'll, when we actually get there, and we get it bang on, it'll go green. So we're now really small movements now. I'm gonna do anything big. a little bit more. I know not much is happening but I don't like to turn it too much at all. I like to do it a little bit at a time. I think it needs to come down a little bit. That was too much. It needs to come left just a tee bit. We're almost there. There we go. But it's gone green. And there's our polar alignment. And now we're ready to go. So I can actually close this now. That's the polar alignment done. So now everything's polar aligned and it's now starting its routine to do its night of imaging. So that's basically it. There's not a lot to it. Uh, it but it's a very useful tool, very quick and simple to use. Um, it's uh, definitely saved me a lot of time uh, when I've been out and about uh, polar aligning this rig. So if I go to uh, a dark site somewhere, all I have to do is make sure I'm roughly pointed north, make sure that my mount is level, and then straight away I can get it polar aligned within a few minutes and I'm ready to go. And as I say, I've tested the accuracy of this. I've used the um, guide assistant in PhD2 and uh, it's given really good uh, accurate results on the polar alignment from the uh, drift that's been uh, shown on that. So I know that it works well and I know that the polar alignment is good because my guiding is fine and my stars are nice and round. I found it to be an excellent addition to my mount and I would highly recommend one. So if you're thinking about getting something like this, uh, consider the iOption iPolar as uh, it's a really nice piece of kit. So until next time, please take care and I'd like to wish you all clear skies.